one to sixty. Hello, friends. I am the parrot. You are welcome to this lesson. Come, let us see what you will learn in this lesson. Numbers from fifty-one to sixty, and writing those numbers in terms of ones and tens. Today, Chotu's mother has given him many almonds. Chotu, I need your help. Make pouches of these almonds. Then it will be easy to distribute them. All right, mummy. I can make pouches with ten almonds in each pouch. Then I'll be able to count the almonds easily. See this, mummy. I have made so many pouches. Chotu, how many pouches of almonds have you made? Children, can you tell me how many pouches of almonds has Chotu made? Come, let us see. Mummy, I have made five pouches with ten almonds in each, so it comes to fifty almonds. Okay, now Chotu, take five more almonds. Count these as well. So earlier I had fifty almonds and five more almonds, so it will make fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, and fifty-five. It means fifty-five almonds. Yes, Chotu. So can you tell me how many ones and tens are there in fifty-five? Yes, mummy. Fifty-five has five tens and five ones. Very good, Chotu. You are absolutely correct. Chotu's mother has given him some more almonds. Let us see what he is doing now. Mummy, these are five more almonds. Yes, Chotu. Can you now count and tell me how many almonds you have in total? To begin with, I had fifty-five almonds, which means five tens and five ones, and now five more ones. So. After fifty-five comes fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. This means sixty almonds. So, Chotu, how many ones and tens do you have right now? Mummy, now I have five tens and ten ones. So, children, what do you think? Has Chotu answered correctly? Let us see. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Five tens means fifty almonds. And ten ones means ten almonds, and these ten almonds will make one more tens. So in all we have six tens, meaning sixty almonds. Sixty almonds means six groups of ten almonds each, which becomes six tens. Is this right, mummy? Yes, Chotu, you are right. So children, that is all for today. In this video, we have learned about numbers from fifty-one to sixty and how to read these numbers in terms of ones and tens. In the next video, we will learn about numbers from sixty-one to seventy. Until then, bye, children. the previous video we had learned how to read numbers from 51 to 60 in terms of ones and tens in this video we will learn numbers from 61 to 70 and some interesting examples on how to read those numbers in terms of ones and tens children today choto with his friends is going on a school tour to a candle making factory where beautiful candles are being made and then sent to shops where these are sold Oh Pinky, look this place has so many candles. Yes, but how do these people count so many candles? Come let me tell you. They first put 10 candles in each box. Right now we have 6 such boxes in front of us. So can you tell me how many candles must be there in total? Yes, see, there are 6 boxes with 10 candles in each of them. Six boxes would mean sixty candles. Chotu, look, there are four more candles. Please count these as well. We have six boxes of candles here, which means sixty candles. And four more along with these comes to sixty-one. 
62, 63 and 64. These are 64 in total. Pinky, can you tell me how many 1s and 10s are there in 64? Yes, 64 has 6 10s and 4 1s. Excellent, you are absolutely correct. A little later, Chotu and Pinky found some more candles there. Come, let us see what they are doing now. Oh, look, Pinky, some more candles. Yes, Chotu, let us count these also. Earlier, we had a total of 64 candles and now we have 5 more. Children, do you know how many candles have Chotu and Pinky seen so far? Come, let us find. After 64 candles, it will be 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So these are now 69 candles. Chotu, can you tell me how many 10s and 1s are there in 69? 69 has 6 10s and 9 ones. Yes, Chotu, you are right. Earlier we saw 6 groups of 10 candles each and then we saw 9 loose candles. Which means nine ones. Yes, Pinky. Counting candles was a lot of fun today. Children, you saw how Chotu and Pinky counted candles. They had 69 candles, which means six tens and nine ones. Children, had Chotu and Pinky got one more candle, then what would have become the total number of candles? They would have got 70 candles. Meaning, after 6 groups of 10 candles, they would have got one more bundle of 10 candles. This means 7 tens. That was all fun today, children. In this video, we have learned about numbers from 61 to 70 and saw some interesting examples about how to read those numbers in terms of 1s and 10s. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 51 to 70 and discuss some common mistakes that we should avoid. Until then, bye children! Interesting examples of numbers from 51 to 70. Hello children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of numbers from 51 to 70. In this video we will see some more examples related to those numbers. We will also discuss about the common mistakes that we should avoid. Today Chotu and Aarti are playing a game together. At the end of the game, they are figuring out who got a higher score. I have scored 56. Aarti, what is your score? Chotu, I have scored 65 points. Hey, this means that our scores are the same. Aarti, both of us have won this game. No, Chotu, I have scored more than you. Let us go to mummy and ask her that who has scored more. Alright Chotu, let us go. Children, what do you think? Are 56 and 65 equal? Come let us see. 56 means 5 tens and 6 ones. And 65 means 6 tens and 5 ones. The two numbers have different tens and ones. This means that 56 and 65 are not equal. Children, can you tell me which number is greater between the two? Yes, correct. 65 is the greater number because it has more tens. Now do you understand Chotu? Since 65 is a greater number, I have won the game. Yes, I have understood Aarti. Anyway Chotu, now I am going home. See you tomorrow. Chotu and Aarti are thinking of making a model today with matchsticks. Aarti, we will need 70 matchsticks for the model. Alright Chotu, let us ask Mummy for matchsticks. Mummy, please give us matchsticks. We want to make a model using them. Okay, take these. Oh Chotu, these are too many matchsticks. Let us take 70 out of this pile. Please make bundles of 10 each of these so that counting becomes easier. 
All right, I will count. So these are now seventy matchsticks. Oh, Chotu, how many bundles have you made? Aarti, for seventy we needed seven bundles, and seventy has a zero also, which means ten more matchsticks. Therefore, I have made eight bundles of ten matchsticks. You are not doing this correctly, Chotu. Wait, let me explain. Seventy has seven tens and zero ones. Zero ones. What does zero ones means? Zero ones means there is not even a single loose matchstick. For seventy matchsticks, you will need to make seven bundles of ten matchsticks each. Okay, now I have understood. Thank you, Arti. So, children, that is all for today. In this video, we saw some common mistakes. That we should avoid. For instance, fifty-six and sixty-five are not equal, and if a number has zero in one's place, it does not mean ten. I sincerely hope that you have understood this topic. Bye, friends. Numbers from seventy-one to eighty. Hello, friends. I am a parrot. You are welcome to this video. Let us see what you will learn in this lesson. Numbers from seventy-one to eighty, and reading those numbers in terms of ones and tens. Chotu and Pinky have gone to the market today to buy several bamboo sticks. They will build a small house with those sticks. Pinky, how many sticks should we buy? Chotu, I think two packets should be enough. All right, Pinky. Auntie, please give us two packets of sticks. Chotu and Pinky return home with two packets of sticks. Let us see what they are doing now. Okay, Chotu. Let us first count these sticks. And for that, let us make bundles with ten sticks in each. All right, Pinky. So we have seven bundles of ten sticks each. So children, can you tell how many sticks have Chotu and Pinky got in total? Seven bundles of ten sticks each. This means we have seven tens. Yes, Pinky. And seven tens are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And seventy, so we have seventy sticks. All right, Chotu. Now let us build the house. Chotu and Pinky could not complete the house with seventy sticks. Let us see what they are doing now. Oh no, we do not have enough sticks to make the door of the house. Chotu, I will get more sticks from Auntie. Pinky, we need ten more sticks. Pinky gets ten more sticks, and then Chotu and Pinky finish making the house. Our house is complete now. Pinky, let us show it to Sonu and Neha. Children, did you see what a beautiful house Chotu and Pinky have built? Do you know how many sticks they used to build the house? Come, let us see. Initially, they had seventy sticks, and then Pinky got ten more sticks. So the number became seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty. So the total numbers of sticks is eighty. So with these ten more sticks, one more bundle of ten can be made. It means one more tens. So children, can you tell how many tens and ones are there in eighty? Yes, children. Eighty has eight bundles of ten sticks each, and no loose stick. This means eighty has eight tens and zero ones. So, children, that is all for today. In this video, you learned how to read numbers from seventy-one to eighty in terms of ones and tens. In the next video, we will learn about numbers from eighty-one to ninety. Until then, bye, children.
numbers from 81 to 90. Hello children, in the last video you learnt about numbers from 71 to 80 and reading them in terms of 1s and 10s. In this video we will learn about numbers from 81 to 90. Today Pinky and Chotu will make white flower garlands for their mother. Pinky, how many flowers we will need for the garlands? I don't know Chotu. Let's ask mother. Mother, we need to make many garlands. How many flowers would we need? Chotu, Pinky, you could use 10 flowers for one garland. Take as many flowers as you need for the number of garlands. Alright mother. Pinky, let us go to the market and buy some flowers. Chotu and Pinky have brought many flowers from the market. Chotu, come let us make garlands with these flowers. Pinky, look, I have made a garland with 10 flowers. Wow, Chotu, now let us make more garlands. Chotu, can you tell so far how many flowers we have used in making the garlands? See, we have made 8 garlands of 10 flowers each. So, it comes to 80 flowers. Oh, Chotu, look, there are 5 more flowers here. Let us count these as well. Alright, so we had 80 flowers and 5 more would mean 81, 82, 83, 84 and 85. The total is 85 flowers. Chotu, can you tell how many 1s and 10s there are in 85? Yes, 85 has 8 10s and 5 1s. You are right Chotu. Let us make a garland out of these. While Chotu and Pinky were making the garland, their mother came to them. Chotu, Pinky, look, I found these flowers lying close to the door. You must have dropped these while coming in. Here, use these as well. Oh wow, more flowers. Perhaps we can make one more garland now. Chotu, we had 85 flowers and now mother has given us 5 more. So how many flowers do we have in total now? Children, do you know how many flowers Chotu and Pinky now have? Come, let us see. Look, Pinky. Earlier, we had 85 flowers and then we got 5 more. That makes it 86, 87, 88, 89 and 90. We have 90 flowers in total. Chotu, do you know how many 1s and 10s does the number 90 have? Yes, Pinky. 90 has 9 10s and 0 1s. Children, that is all for today. In this video, we learnt about numbers from 81 to 90. In the next video, we will watch some interesting examples related to numbers from 71 to 90. And we will also learn about some common mistakes that we should avoid. Until then, bye children. Numbers from 91 to 99. Hello friends, I'm the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Come let us see what we will learn in this lesson. Numbers from 91 to 99. And reading those numbers as 1s and 10s. Today all the children in the school have brought their old books. These books will be given to those children who cannot afford to buy these books. Choto and Aarti have got the work of counting all the books in their class. Aarti, there are so many books kept here. How shall we count them? Look Choto, we can do one thing. We can make sets of 10 books each. This will make it very easy to count. Alright. 
Chotu and Aunty started making sets of ten each. Chotu, how many sets of books have been made? Aunty, nine sets of ten books have been made. Okay, nine sets of ten, which means ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. This means ninety books. Yes, ninety books. Children, can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in ninety? Come on, let us see. Children, this is how we write ninety. Here, nine is at the tens place and zero in the ones place. This means we have nine tens, which we can also call nine bundles of ten. Which is ninety, and there is no ones here. So did you see, children? Nine tens means ninety books. This shows that Chotu and Arti have counted ninety books so far. After some time, Neha gave five more books to Chotu and Arti. So, children. Can you tell me how many books they have with them now? Come on, let us see. Initially, they had ninety books, and later they got five more books. So, which makes it ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five. So, this means they have ninety-five books in total. Can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in ninety-five? Children, this is how we write ninety-five. Here, nine is at the tens place and five is at the ones place. This means we have nine tens, which we can also call nine bundles of ten, which is ninety, and along with that. Five ones, which means five books. After a while, Sonu brought some more books. So let us see how many books Chotu and Pinky together have right now. Chotu initially there were ninety-five books, and then ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Children, this means. They have ninety nine books all together. We write ninety nine like this, and here nine is at tens place, and nine is at ones place. So that means we have nine tens, which we can also call nine bundles of ten, and along with that nine ones. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned to read numbers from ninety-one to ninety-nine, and to read those numbers in the form of ones and tens. In the next video, we will learn about hundred and learn to read hundred as ones and tens. Till then, bye, children. Introduction to hundred. Hello, children. In the last video, you learned numbers from ninety-one to ninety-nine, and also read those numbers as ones and tens. So come on, let's see what you will learn in this video about hundred, and how many ones and tens are there in a hundred. Today is Chotu and Pinky's mother's birthday. Chotu and Piggy put one coin each in their piggy bank every day. So they thought of taking money from the piggy bank and buy a gift for their mother. Chotu, let's check in our piggy bank how many rupees are there, and then we will bring something for mummy from the market. Okay, Piggy, let's see. Chotu, let's count all these coins. 
by making groups of ten each. So these are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. And along with that, there are ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, and ninety nine. This means we have ninety nine rupees in total. So, children, did you see how Chotu and Piggy counted the money of their piggy bank? Can you tell me how many ones and how many tens are there in ninety-nine? Yes, children. We write ninety-nine like this. Here, nine is in the tens place, and this nine is in the nines place. That means we have nine tens, which can be also called as nine bundles of tens and nine ones. After some time, Chotu and Pinky notice that there is another rupee in their piggy bank. So this means now they have one rupee more than ninety-nine rupees. So children, do you know what is one more than ninety-nine? And how shall we count it? Yes, one hundred is more than ninety-nine. Come on, let us see how. There are nine ones and nine tens, and if there is one more one in it, then it will become ten coins, which means ten ones, and together ten ones will make one ten, which means one more group of ten. That means earlier we had nine tens, and now one ten more, and now we have. Ten tens, which we call as a hundred. So a hundred comes after ninety-nine, which we write like this. So children, that was all for today. In this video, you learned about hundred and learned to read hundred as ones and tens. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of numbers. From ninety one to one hundred. Till then, bye, children. Examples of numbers from ninety one to hundred. Hello, children. In the previous video, you learned numbers from ninety one to one hundred and read those numbers as ones and tens. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of those numbers. Nowadays, there is a fair near Chotu's house. Chotu and Pinky have also gone to the fair. They liked a game at the fair. In this game, they are given lots of pencils, and they have to count them as quickly as possible. The one who tells quickly gets the reward. Chotu, first I will do it. Uncle, please give me the pencils. Uncle has given some pencils to Pinky. Let's see how she is counting them. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, wait, Pinky. This will take you a long time to count. It is better if you count them as groups of ten. Okay, Chotu. So these are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Seventy, eighty, and ninety. This means there are ninety pencils, and plus six pencils more. So first of all, there are ninety pencils and six more pencils with me. So ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, and ninety six. So there are ninety six pencils. Children, Pinky said it right. 
and got the prize also now can you tell how many ones and tens are there in 96 come on let's see children we write 96 like this and in this 9 is in the tens place and 6 in ones place it means we have 9 tens which we can also call 9 bundles of 10 and along with that 6 ones means six loose pencils chotu has gone to the store with his mother to buy the goods mummy why are these pencils placed here in two different places chotu look here the pencils are kept in groups of 10 and there are loose pencils here okay but why is this mummy wait chotu i'll tell you First of all do one thing give me 95 pencils out of these now i understood mummy that means i will give 9 bundles of 10 pencils and 5 loose pencils so to give 95 pencils i have to give 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 5 loose pencils So that is ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five. Yes, sure do. You are absolutely right. But if there were only loose pencils, then it would have taken a long time. That's why here the pencils are also kept in bundle of ten. So children you saw how Chotu used bundles and loose pencils to give ninety five pencils. He gave nine bundles of ten pencils to his mother, which means nine tens, and together five loose pencils, which means five ones. So, children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of numbers from ninety-one to hundred. In the next video we will see some more interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100 and learn about some common mistakes that we all should avoid till then bye children to numbers from 91 to 100 Hello kids in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of numbers from 91 to 100 in this video we will see some interesting examples related to numbers from 91 to 100 and learn about some common mistakes which should not be made Today Chotu and Pinky's teacher has asked them to make a chart of numbers from 91 to 100. Pinky, let's write the ones and tens of these numbers in the chart. Okay Chotu. Pinky and Chotu have written numbers from 91 to 100 and also write the ones and tens of some numbers. Both of them are going to show the chart to their mother before writing further. Mummy, look, we are preparing this chart to put in class. Hey children, you have written it upside down. We write 91 like this and there are 9 tens and 1 one ones in it. That means 9 bundles of 10 and 1 loose. Oh yes. We have made this mistake in all the numbers. Take this and just fix it up. Okay, mummy. Chotu and Pinky then corrected their charts. Come on, let's see what they wrote now. It is written here that there are nine tens and one ones in ninety-one. Then there are nine tens and two ones in ninety-two, and just like that, they corrected all the numbers and wrote them down. Chotu's birthday is coming up, and every year Chotu gives some gifts to all his friends. Hey Chotu, what will you give to your friends this time? 
Mummy, this time I will give them small little packets of toffees. Oh wow! This would be a very cute gift. Yes, Mummy. Well, tell me, Chotu, that how many toffees you have brought for your friends? Mummy, let me count them. Chotu started counting the packets. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So there are ten total packets, and ten packets will make a hundred toffees, isn't it, Mummy? Chotu, but why do some bags look small and some seems big? Yes, Mummy, there are less toffees in some packets. No, Chotu. Here we count a packet as ten because there are ten toffees in all the packets. If there are not ten toffees in all, then we have to open all the packets and count them one by one. But it will take a lot of time, Mummy. <laughs> yes, Chotu. So we should put ten toffees in each packet before we start counting the packets. Okay, Mummy. I understood. Children, did you see what mistake Chotu made? Even y'all should not make such mistake. We should keep this in mind while making groups of ten and counting that each group is made up of ten things. Groups made up of different number of things are not counted as tens. So, children, that was all for today. In these videos, we learned about numbers from ninety-one to one hundred. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye, friends. Numbers from zero to one hundred. Hey, hello, kids. I am Parrot, and I welcome you to this lesson. So let's see what will you learn in this lesson today. Reading the numbers in ones and tens. And determining the number by counting ones and tens. So today, Chotu and Pinky have come to the market to buy a toy. Pinky, look at this. This is such a nice toy. We should buy it. Yes, Chotu, you are right. The price written here is rupees thirty-eight. Thirty-eight rupees means we have to give three notes of rupees ten, and also eight coins of rupee one. But why is that, Chotu? Look, Pinky, in thirty-eight, three is in the tens place, and eight is in the ones place. Three tens means three counts of ten, or three notes of ten rupees. And eight ones means eight coins of one rupee. So we have to give three notes of ten rupees and eight coins of one rupee. Isn't it right? Yes, Pinky. Come, let us buy it now. Chotu gave thirty-eight rupees to the shopkeeper and took the toy from him. So today, Chotu and Pinky have come to the museum with their mother. They are seeing many interesting and antique items here. So come, let's see what all three of them are seeing. Oh wow! There are so many utensils here. Mom, why don't we use such utensils at our home? Chotu, these utensils are really old, and they were used a long time ago. Chotu, come, let's see how many utensils are these. Yes, Pinky, let us count these. Chotu, here ten utensils are kept together, so it will be easy for us to count. Yes, you are right, Pinky. These are ten, twenty. Thirty and forty. These are forty utensils. 
hoping ki C5 more utensils are kept here. Hi again kids. So do you know how many utensils did Chotu and Pinky see in the museum? After 40 utensils, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. This makes total 45 utensils. Hey kids, did you see how Chotu and Pinky counted these utensils? There were four sets of utensils containing ten each, which means four tens. So in the tens place would be four, and five more utensils, that is five ones. It means five would come in ones place. So children, Chotu and Pinky saw. 45 utensils in total So children that's all for today and in this video we learn to read numbers in tens and ones and counting numbers by tens and ones In the next video we will learn to count numbers forward and backwards till then bye bye kids